Dunder Mifflin, this is Aaron. He's not available right now. Uh-huh. Yes. Sure, I'll give him a message when he gets up. Gets back. Michael had chicken pot pie for lunch. Actually, let me rephrase that. Michael had an entire chicken pot pie for lunch. And let me be more specific. Michael ate an entire family-sized chicken pot pie for lunch, and then he promptly fell asleep. So we're all trying to be very quiet so as to not wake him up before 5 p.m., which actually should be in about... Ten minutes. Okay, I'm gonna go in there and change the computer. Are you sure you can change his watch? I can do it. What do you need from me? Normally I don't condone leaving early, but I have an appointment with the horse doctor. How that horse became a doctor, I don't know. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. He's just a regular doctor who shoots your horse in the head when its leg is broken. Like clockwork. <laughs> Geography joke. <laughs> oh, my, oh, wow. Okay. All right. Let's all go home. Come on. See you all to Molly. See you later, Michael. Yeah. Yeah. All righty. Let's get started. What is she into? I know Pam pretty well. I know the things that she likes, and just as important, I know the things that she hates. So one of the things that she likes is pranks. And the things that she hates? Frisbee-based competitions. Are you kidding? She... I started the main Frisbee golf club at Cornell, where I went to college. I live to froth. Lead off with that. She loves hunting. She also loves those ads for Six Flags with the old guy. Got it. Also, do you speak pig Latin? Hello, this is Dwight Schrute. Hello? Hello, this is Dwight. Hello? Hello? Yes, we do have that. Hold on one second. Jim, what are you doing? And how many would you like? Oh, uh, uh, hang that up right Absolutely. now. Absolutely, I can get that out to you immediately. This man is an imposter. Do not do business with him. This is not Dwight Schrute. Dwight left his cell phone on his desk. So, naturally, I paired it to my headset. Okay, fine. I'll just let it go to voicemail. Hello, this is Dwight. Hey, is this Dwight? Yes, it is. Oh, my goodness, you sound sexy. Oh, thank you. I've been working out. Whoa, 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 Pam, you? Pam, you are not talking to Dwight right now. You are talking to Jim. Dwight? No! Pam, I'm over here. I'm confused. Disconnect that right now. You give me your earpiece. Can't do that. Unsanitary. Ah! Okay, you know what? Fine. I will reprogram my phone to go to my office phone. Done. Mr. Dwight. Oh, and I forwarded his desk phone to mine. Oh, hello, Mutter. Good news. I've married. Tell Fatter. Such a nice woman. Hope this helps, Jim. Nice. What are you doing? Shh. Don't be scared. works. <laughs> oh no. Pamela -ma ding dong. Listen, you're cute. There's no getting around it. 
So, I don't know if you like country music, but I was thinking maybe one of these days we could drive out to a field, crank up some tunes, smoke a few Mac and Nudos, maybe even toss a disc around. But wait, Uday Uye Ink they Ampe. Wow. I. Think about it. I'll hit you back. was wow night pen night oh you know what sorry i forgot to tell you i intercepted a transmission earlier and it seems that the cia is going to need to white down in their headquarters at langley for training and an ice cream social with the other agents we should get him a bus ticket to make his trip easier. Oh no, that would be very big guy. It costs $75. Hmm. Well, maybe the CIA could send a helicopter. <laughs> the... You have been compromised. Abort mission, destroy phone. Michael, since it is your 15th anniversary at the company, I thought it might be appropriate to begin the festivities with a 15-minute round of applause. I like it. Followed by a 15-minute moment of silence. I don't know. Is it classy enough? Jim, enough with the classy, okay? I just feel like after 15 years at this company, bravo, by the way, that we should celebrate with a very classy event, a night to remember. I think you're right. This party has to have all the excitement, drama, and intrigue of my time here. And of course, classy. And classy, yeah. Michael, you're just agreeing with him because he's wearing a tux. Don't you see what he's doing here? Last week, Dwight sent out a memo about the dress code. So this is me showing him that I'm taking it very seriously. Oh, here's one. A string quartet playing classical music. Mm, you know, that's good, but it's not classy. I, I need something classy, like the opening of a car dealership. That's it. Or Mr. Peanut. Yes. Mr. Peanut is not classy. Yes. He is a regular peanut. He just happens to have a cane, a monocle, and a top hat. That's what makes him classy. Okay, how about this? An ice sculpture shaped like you, covered in chocolate, covered strawberries. Oh, Dwight. You're trying too hard, and that's just not classy. See, the thing about classy is it's a state of mind. Well, I'm sorry. I just don't know what classy is then. Okay, let's just try this one on for size, and I apologize because it's right off the top of my head. An ice sculpture of you, completely surrounded by a variety of chocolate-covered fruits. Strawberries? That's inspired. I said that! Not classy. Not classy at all. De classe. French. Classy? You ready? <laughs> you kidding? I was born ready. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Um, I don't know how to tell you this, but we have a little bit of a problem. No, what? The minister just told me that it's tradition for the bestish mensch to be older than the groom. Oh, come on. I've never heard of such a I thing. I haven't heard of it, obviously. But I'm out because I'm significantly younger than you. Not significant as a big well, word. I think, I think you're... Well, okay. Either way. Either team. way. Dwight, I can't be there for you. I'm sorry. Jim. I just really wish there was something I could do. That's what she said. <laughs> Best prank ever. <laughs>